Hey guys, Apple School here, and today we're doing the unboxing of the brand new iPhone 8 Plus. Okay, so we're back. So here we have the brand new iPhone 8 Plus Silver 64 gigabytes, and today we're doing the unboxing. I'm really excited about this phone and to be honest I was not gonna get the iPhone 8 or 8 Plus I was gonna wait for the iPhone X but then I said to myself you can have some phone while you wait so um, I went to the store and I picked up the iPhone 8 Plus okay so let's do the unboxing right now let's um cut the plastic right here and while I open it let me give you some information about this phone um, First of all, it comes on three different colors, silver, gold, and space gray, which is the, the black. The screen is a 5.5 Retina HD display. It comes with a 12 megapixel wide angle and telephoto camera. It has Touch ID. Um, the chip is a 811 Bionic. It's equipped with wireless charging, and the storage capacity are 64 gigabyte and 256 gigabyte. Okay, so now that we remove the plastic, let's proceed to open this baby. All right, so um, let's open it up and let's see what's the first thing we're gonna get. It is the paperwork. So um, let's put this to the side. And here we have designed by Apple in California. And inside this, we have um, the paperwork, usual, instruction, manuals, you know how to use it. And the stickers, yeah, we get the stickers. Okay, and here we have the clip to take out the SIM card, right here. And that's it, let's put this to the side. And now we're gonna get what we was waiting for. This is the iPhone 8 Plus. Okay, so let's take it out of the box. And here we have it. White in the front and silver in the back. So as you can see, the back now is glass. It's not like um, the iPhone 7, it was metal. And um, let's put this to the side and continue. So here we have the power brick, the small one, the usual one. And that's not the one that you're gonna use for fast charging. I'm gonna talk to you about that later on. And here we have the headphones. And no, this is not the AirPod. In the back we have the adapter. And this is nice of them to include this adapter once again. And here we have the USB to lightning cable. And again, this is not the one that you're gonna be using if you want fast charging, okay? All right, so let's put this to the side and let's grab the iPhone, okay? So um, this is a really gorgeous phone. As you can see, um, let me take out the plastic. Okay, wow. This is beautiful. Okay, so let's put the plastic to the side. Wow, I'm really impressed with this phone. And of course we have the glass in the back. And this is the only difference that you're gonna notice when it comes to the design uh, from the 7 Plus to the 8 Plus. You can see the bottom of the phone looks just the same. The headphone jack is not there. They did this in the 7 Plus. And then on the side, we have the mute or silent button, and then we have the volume up, volume down. Then if we move to the other side, we have the power button, and then we have um, the slot where the SIM card is gonna be in. And the top, there's nothing. And um, in the front, you get the home button. In the back, we get the camera. We have the Apple logo. And almost at the bottom, we have the word iPhone. And that's all we have. So it looks more clean now. It doesn't have all that other extra stuff that nobody care and nobody read. Okay, so it looks better now. Okay, so let's power this baby on and let's start with the setup. Okay, so um, once you press the power button, just wait a few seconds, maybe take a minute, but be patient for the first time. And once we get to this screen where it says hello in um, a lot of languages, you're gonna press the home button. So um, once you press it, you're gonna continue. 
and it's telling me that I don't have a SIM card, I'm gonna press OK, but to finish this process, you need a SIM card, okay? Here, you're gonna choose your language. I'm gonna choose English right now, and um, then you're gonna select your country. I'm in United States, so I'm gonna click United States, and then it's gonna bring you to the quick start. So here, if you have an iPad or an iPhone running iOS 11, you can bring it closer, and it's gonna sign you automatically. So I'm just gonna do the setup manually. Then it's gonna take me to the next page where it's asking me to connect to a network. Of course, right now I don't have a SIM card, so I'm gonna connect to Wi-Fi. And you can also connect to iTunes, so all you have to do is plug your phone to your computer and finish the setup there. Okay, so now I'm connected to Wi-Fi, but I don't have a SIM card, so it reminds me that it requires a SIM card, and this is what I was telling you guys. If you do not put a SIM card on your phone, it's not gonna finish the setup process. Okay, so I already put a SIM card, and now it's asking me to set up my Touch ID. I'm gonna do it later, so I'm gonna press what it says, set up Touch ID later. It's telling me if I'm sure, so I'm gonna put that, I don't wanna use this. So if you wanna do it, just pause the video and finish the process, and then it's gonna ask you to create a passcode. So um, I'm just gonna put all zeros here, it's telling me that this is really easy, so I'm gonna use it anyway. I'm just doing this to um, to speed the process, okay? So once you pull your passcode, it's gonna take you to the next step, which is your restore option. So here you have iCloud backup, iTunes backup, set as new, or move from Android. I'm just gonna press set as new, and then it's gonna take you to this page, and here we're gonna put our Apple ID. If you don't have one, just press what it says, don't have an Apple ID or forget it. And then it's gonna take you to another page where you're gonna put if you forgot your Apple ID or if you don't have, you're gonna create one. And I'm just gonna put setup later, okay? So, and then um, I'm gonna put don't use. And then it's gonna take me to the terms and condition. And um, all you have to do is just click in the right corner in the bottom where it says um, agree. So once you finish reading, if you wanna read all that, just press agree. And then it's gonna take you to the spread setting. So um, here you can press continue or you can customize it later on in the settings. So I'm just gonna press continue. Then it's gonna move you to the um, page where you're gonna set up Siri. So I'm just gonna set it up later and I'm gonna do it now. So um, if you wanna do it, just press where it says continue. And here the app analytic is where you send information to the developers. So I always press don't share. If you want to share your information whenever you know the app crash or whatever you press um share here this is um one of the new features the true tom display and i'm gonna just press continue and we're gonna talk about this later on in the review then it's gonna take you to the new home button which is not new no more because it was introduced in um the iphone 7 and 7 plus and here you have the option to customize your click so um you get three options so um, once you find the right one, the one that you feel comfortable with, then you're gonna press what it says next. Um, I like the second one. So once you finish, you press next, it's in the top right hand corner. And then it's gonna take you to the display zoom. So this is how big you want your icon. You get two options. So um, one is the standard one, this is how they look. And then the other one is um, when you zoom in a little bit more, they get bigger. Okay, so whichever you want, I'm gonna choose the standard. And then you get welcome to iPhone, get started. So we finished with the setup process. And if you already have iOS 11 installed on your iPhone, you're going to notice that a lot of stuff that are in this iPhone, you already have it on your old iPhone. So you might be asking yourself, why should I upgrade? And also, um, let me just show you, um, this is the new iPhone 8 Plus, and um, I'm gonna show you my old iPhone 7 Plus. They look almost identical. So um, if you put them next to each other, it's hard to notice the difference, which one is the iPhone 7 Plus and which one is the iPhone 8 Plus. If you can see the front looks the same, the side looks the same. The only thing that changed is the back. The new iPhone has that glass bag and the old iPhone have the aluminum or uh, metal, however you wanna call it. So um, that's the only difference. The cameras are in the same place. And if you look on the bottom, they look just the same also. And um, the buttons from the side, they're in the same place. 
they still there, the volume up, volume down, the mute or silent button is there. So if you were looking for a new design, this is not the phone for you. The A plus and the 7 plus look just the same. So you might just wait for the X or maybe next year. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, that was the unboxing of the iPhone 8 plus. I'm not gonna go more into details because I have to use it more. So I can come back and give you a full review of what I think about this phone. So if you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't done it yet and hit the bell so you can get a notification as soon as I upload new video. Also share the video and if you have any question or anything to add, please leave it in the comment. You can follow me on Twitter at AppleScoop. Till the next one.